What is good everybody? Welcome to an epic My Damn Toys video. Today we have a top 5 countdown for you guys. We're going to be running through my own personal top 5 matches in MDT history. The MDT Pick Fed is obviously what I'm talking about. If you guys have never watched the Pick Fed, then maybe this video right here will get you interested in the Pick Fed and maybe you watch through this whole video and you're like, dang, that was pretty good. I enjoyed this. You know, let me get some more of this ish on my football plate. Uh, go to the MDT Wrestling Playlist and play, uh, play it from the draft. You know, watch the draft, see who we pick on both of our rosters if you want. If you don't want to, you can go straight into episode one of Vindication. And I will be honest with you, uh, anything in this uh, video in particular will probably not be from those first few episodes because personally, I was still learning pick fetting. I was trying to learn, you know, the style and how I wanted to present the shows and everything like that to you guys. So, you know, it may be a bit rough. It may be ugly. It may be awful posing slash just, uh, just, uh, just cringy like posing to be honest with you. But you know what? Um, I think that we have improved a whole ton since the first episode, and uh, we're, we're continuing to improve every single day here at MDT with our pick fed. But I hope you guys do enjoy this video. Uh, it may be a long video. I'm sure it will be because we're going to present all the matches in their full link capacity just so you guys can see them. And, you know, we're going to talk about them here. But uh, let's go ahead and dive right into the countdown, guys. Starting out at number five, in my own personal opinion, I enjoyed this matchup a ton. I am talking about the MDT Live Money in the Bank ladder match that took place at MDT Money in the Bank, and this one is uh, this one's definitely up there for me. I think that it comes in at number five, though. Nothing too crazy, but it is a pretty good match, in my opinion. I just thought it flowed so well. I thought that the competitors in this matchup were great. Um, really good lineup right here in front of you. You had Jeff Hardy, Ziggler, Neville, Christian, Randy Orton, and RVD. And uh, it, it was just a great match, man. And I, I just love this match so much. So let's go ahead and watch this one to full length. And we'll come back for the rest of the countdown. And here we go. Brad Money in the Bank underway. And oh, oh, my God. God. RKO out of nowhere by Randy Orton on Rob Van Dam. Christ. My goodness gracious. The Viper strikes out of nowhere. Oh, here comes Neville. Oh, oh RKO Neville. out of nowhere again. My goodness. Two men down already as a drop kick Jesus. to Randy Orton takes him out there. My God. And Christian on looking here. He doesn't see the super oh. kick from Dolph Ziggler. It super kicks Christian straight to the outside. My God. Two RKO's out of nowhere. And here we are oh. going. Dolph Ziggler, the first one to get a ladder outside, sliding it back inside the ring here. That ladder's not tall enough, silly. Oh, look out, Jeff Hardy. Oh, oh Van Daminator springboard. Jesus. Oh, and a drop kick to the ladder takes out Ziggler. My goodness. RVD with the kicks already recovering from that RKO. Oh, here comes a monkey jump to Orton. Oh, oh the onto the spine of the Viper. My goodness. Payback for that RKO. Oh, and a shot to the freaking shin of RVD by Neville with that ladder recovering from the RKO. One hell of a shinner. Goodness gracious. And here comes Christian to attack Neville, but he blocks it. And a left hand Ooh. from Neville to Christian as RVD... Trying to get back up onto his feet, but oh, Jeff Hardy using him as a platform. Oh, no. Go straight over, my goodness, as he takes out Neville and Christian. Very innovative by Jeff Hardy there to use RVD as a platform to use his offense. RVD setting up the ladder. He sets up the ladder indeed, as Jeff Hardy looks like he's going to be making the climb as well as both men ascend the ladder, making it to the top here. Oh, RVD going for the briefcase, but he can't do it. Here comes Ziggler. Oh, and he super Ooh. kicks the ladder, and oh both men come tumbling down. My goodness gracious. Both RVD and Jeff Hardy took a tumble there as Ziggler's going to use this opportunity to set the ladder up. As he makes his way up the ladder here. Oh, he's going to win. Dolph Ziggler has an opportunity at the Money in the Bay, oh, but here comes Orton. Randy Orton. Oh, Randy Orton's got the leg of Dolph Ziggler. What's he have in mind here? Oh, he swings him down! Oh! Huge RKO off the ladder. My God. Lord. Three men have taken RKO's now in this matchup. RKO's for everyone, it seems. It's just an RKO handout frenzy here. As Randy Orton's got an opportunity now at the Money in the Bank. He's going to make a climb here. Here oh, comes Neville. Here comes Neville on the springboard. Oh, nice transition to the ladder. Oh, and a shot. Oh, and another shot. Oh, my goodness. What is Neville thinking here? Oh, my oh. God. Sunset powerbomb Good off the ladder. God. He's got to be dead as shit. Landed on his back and neck area of Randy Orton. My goodness, that is definitely going to slow down the Viper. As Christian's on the outside here, it looks like he's going to go for some extras. It looks like he's getting a table here. Christian's got wood. Well, Christian's got wood indeed, as it looks like he is going to take his time out of the Money in the Bank match to set up this table on the outside here. Don't know what the plans could be for Christian here. As he better stop RVD. 
but Jeff Hardy's interfering with RVD climbing the ladders. He gives him a strike there. Christian finally makes his way in. Oh, oh and he plants Jeff Hardy off the ladder there. Goodness gracious. some face paint on that ladder now. Definitely there. Oh, and a shot from Christian to RVD. And an Irish whip through the middle of the ladder as Neville is making his own sort of building logs here on the outside with the ladder. ladder bridge. He's made a ladder bridge, but Christian's making his way up the ladder at the Money in the Bank. But here comes Ziggler. Ziggler sliding in to make the stop. Christian's got an opportunity, but there's Neville on the apron. Watch out. Oh, Ooh. super kick. Makes Neville land on the ladder here. As Ziggler better stop Christian. Christian's going to win here. Come on, Christian. Oh, he slows down Christian. Damn. Soon enough here as he's making a climb. Oh, he's on the back of Christian. My God, he's trying to choke him out here. Good oh, my God. Oh. Zigzag off the top of the ladder. My goodness, they fell forever. It looks like RVD is making a climb here, and I'm not exactly sure what he's doing. Lord. But, oh, my God, he's making a climb even higher here onto the scaffolding surrounding the ring. Oh, my goodness, don't do this, RVD. This is nuts. Look out below. Oh! My God, Neville's broken in half. Holy shit, indeed. Holy shit, holy shit. Both men are broken in half. My God, look at Neville. God. I cannot believe the risk that RVD has just made here as Jeff Hardy's on the, oh my goodness, a drop oh. kick. Plants Randy Orton's face on the apron here as he's trying to recover. I think his nose may have some damage to it there. It's, oh, Jeff Hardy's on the apron. Here he comes. Uh, oh, my God. He caught him in an RKO. Good God. Four RKOs now have been handed out as both men lay waste on the outside. My goodness. All six men have killed their bodies here in this matchup. My God, what have we witnessed? Bodies broken. What in the hell is happening now? Is that Bobby Lashley? Are you shitting me. What does Bobby Lashley have to do with this matchup? He's got... He's got a referee with him? He's hunting RVD. My God, you're right, Brad. He's looking for RVD. He's got the referee. He, the Extreme Championship is on the line 24-7. He's 24 got his seven. ass right where he wants him. My God, he's taking advantage of an opportunity. That The 24-7 rule. My goodness. I, I, you got you to gotta give it to Bobby Lashley right here. And that's, that's it. it. New Extreme Champion is Bobby Lashley as he takes advantage of an unconscious oh. RVD. Oh, it's, it's on the referee. What in the hell? He just helped him. My God. And Bobby Lashley escapes through the crowd. I cannot believe what we have just seen. Your new Extreme Champion is Bobby Lashley. What an asshole. My goodness gracious. Well, we got to get back to the matchup here. As Dolph Ziggler makes it back to his feet. And Christian, oh, he's looking for the Stinger Splash. Oh, oh and he comes up empty as a ladder lands on him. My goodness gracious here. RVD finally getting back to consciousness as, oh, what is Christian thinking here? He's got Dolph Ziggler on top of this ladder. What is he thinking? Oh, my God, not the unprettier. Oh, oh my God. Jesus. Dolph Ziggler's got to be out, Cole Brad. He's motionless on top of that ladder. Oh, look out, Christian. Oh, oh. Van Daminator to Christian's face. Oh. oh, and you can't blink twice as the Viper strikes the knee of RVD with that ladder as Neville has finally gotten conscious as he flips the ladder over on its side now. And oh my God, what is he thinking here? He's getting some momentum. He's going to go oh on the God. ladder. Oh my God. Crossbody what? to the outside. Very nice innovative move by Neville here, but he gives Randy Orton an opportunity now to money in the bank briefcase as Randy Orton sets up the ladder and he's going to ascend to the top. I don't know if anybody's even around. Randy Orton's going to win the matchup. There's RVD. Springboard. Oh, oh he oh. kicks him out of midair. Lord. But Neville, Neville has recovered. Springboard on a Randy Orton's back. What is he doing? Oh, backs out. Oh, my God. God, I know that just crushed Randy Orton's spinal cord. The backstabber to the back my goodness he fell so far down now Ziggler's got wood Ziggler has wood now oh my god what's RVD oh, oh my god he takes out Christian to the inside a Ziggler. helicopter of death in the ring Ziggler sets up a table to the outside oh, oh and he takes out Neville as well here as Ziggler is waiting behind RVD oh, oh and a super kick from Dolph Ziggler as I think he's got an opportunity at the money in the bank briefcase Dolph Ziggler's going to have an opportunity here. He's setting the ladder in the right position. As it looks like he's going to be making his own climb here. He could go, man. All, all men are down here. Dolph Ziggler up the side of the ladder. Oh, here comes, here comes Hardy. Jeff. Here comes Hardy. 
And he ascends the ladder as Dolph Ziggler's very, very close to unhooking the briefcase. Oh! Oh, he slaps him. Oh, what is he thinking? Oh, my goodness gracious, alive! Uh, twist, twist of, of fate. fate! Twist of fate up the top of the ladder. My goodness gracious, alive! Randy Orton now looking up under the ring. Christian now building his own mechanisms inside the ring. As a table is set up, Orton and Christian, Neville, Oh, man, competing here is a oh. clothesline from Neville. Gets Christian. He pops up on his feet. Oh, he loads him onto the apron. Oh, and a shot by Neville. Oh, and an elbow there by Christian. Oh, he's got him in the suplex. Look oh, my that. God. Look at that. Oh, my God. What a suplex from Christian. Takes out Neville to the outside. There are two corpses in front of him. Two corpses, broken tables and ladders as Randy Orton looking to get back inside the ring here. But I think RVD has different plans. Oh, oh he kicks Randy Orton straight onto the table. And I don't know what Jeff Hardy's doing. He's going to take an opportunity. At the, oh, what is he doing? He's moving the, he's moving oh the ladder. God. He's moving the ladder closer to the ring apron. Oh, my God. What is Jeff Hardy doing? I'm exhausted. I can't do this anymore. I, I don't think anyone can, man. This is ridiculous. What are you doing, Jeff Hardy? He's not even near the briefcase. He could have won the matchup. Oh, my goodness gracious alive. And Jeff Hardy, I think he's thinking high risk here as he removes the tank top and throws it to the side. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my God. Ah! Bodies are broken. Corpses. All for the sake of the Money in the Bank briefcase. Ziggler. Ziggler has an opportunity here. He's going to be making the climb here. Can he win the contract? Here comes Christian. Christian. Come on. Building a bridge. Oh, he's trying to stop Ziggler. Oh, Ziggler kicks him in the face. Oh, Ziggler's got God. an opportunity. Oh, Ziggler reaching for the Money in the Bank. He may win it here. Oh, RVD. RVD. He springboards. A whiff by Ziggler. Oh, God. On a kick to Scott. Oh, God. Oh, he makes the fall onto the bridge of ladder. RVD all alone at the top of the ladder. He's got the briefcase in hand. It's over. He's done it. RVD is the first ever Mr. Money in the Bank of MDT. All right, guys, so that was our number five entry in the top five matches ever of MDT in our history here in the Pick Fed. And you think something's good until you watch it back, and now I think it's absolute trash. I am totally embarrassed of that matchup. I did not like, I like the, you know, everything flows well, but the posing is just horrendous. I, I, I honestly can't, it's so hard because when you improve at something and you look back at, you know, how good you were at something or how bad you were at something in the past, it's kind of ridiculous to see just how bad you actually were and how you actually thought that was good enough to put out to the public and show it on a platform. And that pay-per-view has almost 100,000 views or so, and, and people enjoyed that. It's just crazy to just see how much you improve, and I, I, it's just it's just insanity, guys. But let's go ahead and get into my number four matchup on this countdown, guys. And the number four matchup is going to be the triple threat match from the Royal Rumble between John Cena, CM Punk, and Roman Reigns for the MDT Championship. Really fun matchup right here. I enjoyed this one a ton. It was the main event sort of championship match at the Royal Rumble. Kenny Omega, the elite champion from Vindication, didn't want to defend his championship, but John Cena, he had to defend that title. He was a fighting champion. He wanted to get in there and defend it here. And he is versus CM Punk and Roman Reigns. Really enjoyable matchup. Let's go ahead and dive into this one. Here we go. Bell has rang and we are underway here. As Roman Reigns is going to strike Ooh. first. He's going right at both of them. Brad, he, he strikes Cena and he strikes right at Punk. Tossing CM Punk right out of the ring. That's something that CM Punk does not have, Brad. Is, Watch is, out, Roman. All loaded up for an AA early in the matchup here. Roman Reigns trying to fight out of it. He does. And he's striking back. CM Punk definitely doesn't have the strength in this matchup. And a big clothesline for Roman Reigns. On CM Punk. Dragging Roman Reigns outside the ring now. Now see, he's proving you wrong. Oh, and a nice baseball slide by Cena taking out both men. But CM Punk, I, I just don't see the strength on hand here. Especially the strength that he lacks. He makes up for in craftiness. We'll have to see... Brad in this matchup, but John Cena battling with Punk here in the corner. Those body shots and head shots, he's just taking it all to Punk here. Loading him up, and oh, here comes Roman Reigns. Yeah. 
Oh, and he Superman punches and Brady fell. Oh, my goodness. God, what a fall. Roman Reigns, the big dog, with a huge Superman punch. And John Cena not paying attention here as he rolls through. And they're going to run circles while CM Punk is totally incapacitated on the outside after that massive Superman punch. My God. Roman Reigns out with the upper hand on John Cena right now. Brad, as he throws him into the ropes, coming back across. Oh, John Cena with a nice shoulder tackle. John Cena with a nice shoulder tackle, Brad. Trying to battle back here. Whoa. Oh, very nice. Classic John Cena on display here. Oh, John Cena looking for that springboard stunner here. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, Lord. What a spear. The spinal cord, the vertebrae of John Cena. Damn right. And Cena alive. They don't call him Super Cena for anything because if that would have been any normal human being, I think their vertebrae would have snapped in seven pieces, Brad. We can't be that lucky. And Roman oh, Reigns hey, now. taking out his frustrations on the Spanish announce table over there, the vindication side. And Roman Reigns getting rid of those monitors and he's clearing it up, Brad. He may have future plans for that announce table as he's dragging John Cena's corpse outside the ring. Oh, as he drives him straight into the apron. Roman Reigns in full control early on in the matchup here as he loads him up and a nice back suplex onto the apron. Oh, it's CM Punk now. CM Punk now has some life. Oh, and he plants it. He's planting him off the announce Jesus. table. Get him away from ours. God. Five times there from CM Punk just plants Roman Reigns as he's gotten some momentum here on his side, throwing John Cena back inside the ring. On oh, CM Punk now thinking high risk, he's going to take a climb. He did this same exact maneuver against AJ Styles, going for that elbow oh. drop as he comes up empty, just like he did against AJ Styles. That crafty bastard. Going for the Macho Man elbow drop, he comes up empty, and Cena. Awaiting here, always loading him up for an AA. Oh, and he hits it. No. He lands the AA. Brass can do it. Oh, and Roman Reigns breaks it up. Roman Reigns breaks it up, making sure that his championship hopes are still alive as he gets rid of John Cena immediately. Oh, and Roman Reigns setting up for a spear in the corner. Waiting on CM Punk to get back up to his feet. Oh, oh my God! CM Punk rolls up Roman. Oh! oh! Connects with a huge GTS as he goes for the cover. We can have a new champion. And Roman oh, Reigns, man. the big dog, stays alive here. GTS right off the nose. Going to take more than that to put away Super Cena and the big dog. On oh, John Cena back to life here after getting thrown out of the ring by Roman Reigns. As he ties up with CM Punk, oh, he's going to bring him onto the apron. We saw this with Cody Rose and Rusev that ended in disaster. Could it call the same for these two as Roman Reigns is sitting up? I think he's be thinking a spear. He speared him right off the apron. God. What a huge spear by the big dog. MDT Championship on the line. What a maneuver. As he picks up Cena, he's throwing him back inside the ring here. I think Roman Reigns may be looking for another spear. Trying to put John Cena away. Oh, here we go. Oh, he connects it. Huge spear by the big dog. Oh, it's CM Punk now. CM Punk now thwarting the efforts of Roman Reigns just as Roman Reigns did before. Oh, he loads him up. Oh, and another GTS off the nose to Roman Reigns. You can hear it. I think two, two GTSs now to the face of Roman Reigns. And what the hell is CM Punk thinking now? Oh, my goodness. Where's this man going? I, I've seen it all tonight, Brad. I've seen it all. The more scaffolding. I've seen it all. CM Punk to the top of the scaffolding in the corner of the arena. And it looks like he's thinking high risk here. He missed his first elbow drop. What makes him think he's going to hit the second when he's coming down? God! Oh my goodness, he comes crashing through the announce table. Jesus. Holy shit indeed. CM Punk comes crashing through the announce table onto Roman Reigns and now John Cena 
picking up the lifeless punk and throwing him back inside that? the ring. Was it worth it? Was it worth it, CM Punk? No. Oh, John Cena looking for an AA here. Jeez. Oh, he's looking for an AA here. Oh, he connected it. This is it. Oh! Yes. And Jay Uso from behind with the championship. Right in the back of the skull of John Cena. Beautiful. He had the thing won. I guess the Usos felt the need that they had to get involved, Brad. It looks like they're signaling that they're gonna they're gonna take flight on John Cena. Hell yeah. Oh, they're looking for the double super fly right onto the chest of Cena. As both men come crawling down, here's the cover. And Cena stays alive! Cena's alive and well. You could drop that man out of a helicopter and he'd still kick out at two. You say it every time, Brad, and it still remains true. God! It, it takes everything and anything to put John Cena down. You Son of a bitch! You have to put this man down with everything you have as the Usos are holding, holding John Cena steady as Roman Reigns looks for the spear. Oh! oh he jumps over Roman Reigns! God! Oh, and John Cena loading up one of the Usos! He plants Jimmy! Oh, and now Jay's getting some of the action as he loads up Jay now! And another AA onto the other oh. Uso! Oh, Punk now looking for the GTS! He's looking for the GTS! Like ah. Cena, Cena squirming out now! Loading up Punk! He connects it. Oh, he's rolling through, Brad. He's rolling through. <laughs> this is it. John Cena's got it. He's got it. He's got to go. Roman. Oh, Roman. Roman Reigns. Roman's still in the cover. Yeah. And he got it. Yeah. A new MDT champion. Roman Reigns. All right, guys, so that is my number four matchup of all time in MDT. It was actually kind of hard to come up with five matches as I'm making this countdown. And another thing is I'm actually going to put timestamps in the description where uh, if you guys don't want to watch the full match, if you just want to check out the top five and, you know, see my opinions on it and everything like that, then you can't. I am going to include timestamps so you guys will know, you know, about where you need to go to find out the next one without watching the next, you know, the full match. But anyways, um, I just really love that triple threat. I just think that those three styles clash really well. Well, and uh, it was very finisher heavy, you know, both all three guys just trying to, you know, finish the other one and trying to get just a guy down to get that cover for three. And then, of course, Roman Reigns coming in for the save at the end there to steal it away from Cena. We still haven't even seen Cena since that match at the Royal Rumble, and uh, so we're still waiting on that. But uh, that is it for my number four entry, guys. Moving into my number three entry, we're going back to MDT sold out in another John Cena match, and it is John Cena taking on Dolph Ziggler here, two of my favorites in the world. I just really do love this matchup. Um, it's just one of those matches that I really, really enjoyed. You know, it's like, uh, I felt like the crowd was really building on Ziggler. Like, I feel like they're just itching and itching, really thinking this is going to do it. This man is literally going to beat John Cena, and it's just it's just a really fun matchup. I really think, I wish that, you know, I could include more crowd chants. I try my best to find crowd chants, you know, to plug in to give it the most realistic feel because I feel like it really involves, you know, the person watching, and I know that, um, from personal experience watching other feds and uh, people telling me that they will, you know, get chills and they'll react heavily to the pick fed. And it's crazy. It's an action figure match and you literally find yourself invested in these matchups. And that's how I felt about this Cena and Ziggler match, guys. So go ahead and check it out. Here we are at number three at MDT Sold Out. And we're ready to go. Is both men lock up here? And the strength of Cena straight Jeez. ahead, just throwing Ziggler right off. You know the strength of Cena will be on showcase here tonight. Absolutely. Dolph Ziggler definitely outnumbered as far as strength goes. And Cena throws him back off again. Yeah. And I think Dolph Ziggler is going to learn that he's going to have to take a different approach here. He's not going to win a strength battle with John Cena. No. As they tie up here again, but Do uh, Dolph Ziggler going straight for the legs here. As he learned, as he, takes, he takes Cena down, and he's working on the head here. He's locked in the headlock. You know, Ziggler, All-American at Kent State where he's in the Hall of Fame as, their, as one of their top wrestlers in the history of the school. As John Cena throws him into the ropes, he's coming back across. Oh, the athleticism of Cena here as he jumps wow. over Ziggler. Ziggler between the legs here, pops up on his feet and lands a drop, drop kick. kick. As he takes Cena down and he's going for the cover. And a kick out immediately. Doesn't, even, doesn't even get a one count here. And he's looking for that 
dropping elbow as he nails it. I don't think he's done, Brad. I think we've got a while here as Ziggler likes to do this to many opponents as he drops multiple and multiple elbows. Working raining. that abdomen. He is literally raining down shots on John Cena as we speak as this is literally a good tactic. You know, he's got John Cena on the ground. Why not keep working on the abdomen area as he Absolutely. keeps on dropping the elbows. It's Ziggler going for the cover now after multiple elbow shots. And it does no good. Good God. He kicks immediately out. He, he's literally got his work cut out for him, Brad. He's going to have to work hard here tonight as he sends Cena into the corner. And I think he's thinking Stinger Splash. Here it comes. Oh, he comes oh. out empty as his face smashes off the turnbuckle. Cena loading him up for the AA oh, here. Shit. Loading him up for the AA. Uh, Ziggler trying to fight out as he gets his hands on the ropes. As he unloads him onto the apron here is Cena. Oh, and he hits a big clothesline Ooh. and takes out Ziggler to the apron as he rolls to the outside. My goodness, what a shot from John Cena. And Cena not going to let him go anywhere here as he throws him right back inside the ring. I think Ziggler's a little stunned from his face bouncing off that top turnbuckle, Brad, as he's trying to get back on his feet. He did dodge that AA, though. As both men lock up here again, going back and forth. Cena with the strength. Trying to showcase to Ziggler here. Ziggler tries to put him in another headlock. Cena backing him up into the ropes. Coming back across now. And a kick Ooh. from Ziggler. Sends him straight up. Oh, he's looking for that big DDT. He's loading him up. Oh, oh the, my God. The strength of Cena. He catches him straight up in the air, and he's coming down. Jesus. The strength of Cena. Showcase there as he goes for the cover. And a kick out from Ziggler. Woo. Not going to put Ziggler away that easy, Brad. He's going to have to fight here. As Cena puts him into the corner and he's going back across. Cena looking for his own clothesline now as he lands it. And Ziggler a bit stunned here as he's bringing him back in. Oh, he's loading him back up. Oh, no. Looking for an AA. Looking for an AA. But Dolph Ziggler trying to fight he's out fighting. here. He's fighting. Oh, an elbow shot. And he dumps him back out onto the apron. A Ooh. shot from Ziggler there. Oh, and I think Ziggler's on the springboard. Oh, and Cena. Uh. Oh, he... Oh, he rolls oh through. Oh, my God. He rolls through, Brad. He rolled through, and Cena's got him up on his shoulders. Oh, my God. The strength of Cena. The strength of Cena. Oh, my Jesus. God. Jesus. He hits an AA. He landed the AA. Oh, but the, the in-ring awareness yes. of the veteran. The veteran Dolph Ziggler, the in-ring awareness to roll out of the ring. Genius. Did not allow Cena to make the cover immediately to get some well-needed rest here. As Cena goes right back out there to get him. Slides him back inside the ring, and he, I think he's, yeah, he's definitely going for it. He's going for the cover here anyway. And he powers out. So Ziggler, had he not rolled out of the ring, Brad, we could be looking at a win already for Cena. I know it. And Cena now back on his feet, and I think he's thinking five-knuckle shuffle. He is, Brad. He's looking for the five-knuckle shuffle. You can't see me. Please. Cena oh, goes across. Oh, Ziggler stands up. Oh. He nails the drop kick on Cena, and he goes for a quick cover. And he powers ah. out. John Cena powered out there. Two. Yeah, he did get it up to two, but it's going to take a lot more than a drop kick here to put Cena away. And Ziggler here looking for the Famouser, I think. Ooh. Oh, he comes up empty as Cena loads him up and Ooh. drops him. And now he says, you don't go anywhere, boy. I'm hitting my five-knuckle shuffle. You can't see me from John Cena again as he comes back across. Here it comes. And he lands the five-knuckle shuffle this time. See, Ziggler back on his feet now. He loads him up. Looking for that AA. Come on. Ziggler struggling. Ziggler fighting here. Oh, he, he, he goes. What is this? Oh, I think he's trying to reverse it into a cover here. He gets him in a cover. Here, we got to have a new champion. Oh, and he ah. kicks out. So Ziggler reverses the. Oh, but he's. Oh, he took the oh foot. My God. He reversed it. And no. now he, oh, he's got him in the STF. He's got him in the STF, Ziggler. Oh my God. Ziggler fighting here, clinging. He's got a fight here. He's, Come on, Dolph. He's, he's got a fight here. The referee checking to see if Ziggler is going to tap out. Ziggler had him in the roll-up, but then Cena kicked out. When he kicked out, he grabbed Hang the on, foot. Hang on, Dolph. He, he grabbed the foot and put him in the STF. Very nice reversal by Cena here as Ziggler is clinging. He's fighting for the ropes. Can he get it? He got he it. it. He got it, and now Cena must let go here. Ziggler, the damage done to the lower back. As Ziggler finds his way to the ropes, and Cena is stalking. He's stalking, waiting on Ziggler. He's waiting on Ziggler. He loads oh, him up. Man. Looking for an AA. Ziggler's still fighting. He's still fighting. Come him. on. Oh, he hits him in the face. Oh, he's battling. He's battling Cena. There you go. Oh, he fights out of it here. Oh, and a oh. super kick out of nowhere. He super kicked him out of nowhere. Looking for the cover. We're going to have a new champion. 
And ah. Cena kicks out at two. The super kick, not enough to put Cena away here. Damn and it. Ziggler thought he had it. He rolls out of the ring. I thought he might have had a chance there. I thought we had a new champion for a split second. I did too. And Cena's coming right at him. Coming right back at him here. A few shots to the face of Ziggler as John Cena loading him back up again here. My God. Oh, what is he thinking? Oh, AA on the apron. Oh. oh, my God. You know that's the hardest part of the ring. The hardest part of the ring, and I think Ziggler's out cold. Oh, the damage to the back. He's going for the cover. It's over. And he powers oh. out. Ziggler kicks out at two. Yeah. He manages to stay alive from the AA onto the apron. And John Cena says, what do I have to do? He's taking him to the top rope here. John Cena looking. Oh, I think he's oh thinking Super God. AA. He's got Ziggler up on his shoulders. Oh, oh, he nails it. He nails the Super AA. Dolph Ziggler has literally taken two AAs in a row here. He goes for the cover. It's over. And he oh stays alive. God. Dolph Ziggler clinging to life after the Super AA and the AA on the apron. Hell yeah. Dolph Ziggler still fighting. And Cena completely shocked as we are, Brad. I think he's thinking one more AA will put him away as he's waiting on Ziggler to get back to his feet. The wherewithal and the strength of Ziggler to keep on fighting John the Cena. Resilience. He loads him back up. Ziggler fights out. Oh, he's uh -oh. got him in the headlock now. Ziggler locks in the headlock on John Cena as he's got it locked in tight. Cena fading now. Cena fading Ziggler. This is what he needs. Yes. This is what Ziggler needs here. Cena's trying to... Oh, my God, the strength of Cena to pull Ziggler back onto oh his shoulders. Oh, my God, no. Oh, he's fighting. He's still fighting. They're both going back and forth. Elbow shots to the skull of Cena. Jesus. Oh, he fights out. He gets out of it. Oh, super, super kick. kick. Super kick from Ziggler. He ricochets the zigzag. Zigzag. He hits the zigzag, Brad. He hits the zigzag. Come on. He goes for the cover. And he gets no. out of John Cena. Stays alive after the super kick zigzag no. combination. Not enough to put away Cena. You could drop that man out of a helicopter and he'd still kick it too. Ziggler waiting in the corner. He wants to put Cena away. Which man can put the other away first? Come Ziggler on. baiting John Cena. Waiting on Cena to get back on his feet. Tune up the band. He is tuning up the band. Paying homage to HBK here with this super kick. He's, he's waiting on Cena. Here it comes. Oh, he ducks the leg. Oh, God. Oh, oh, he's looking for the STF. He's looking for the STF here, Brad. He's trying to lock it in. But Ziggler oh. rolls through. Z Ziggler rolls oh, through my here. God. Oh, he's, oh, he loads it back up. He's got him in the AA. Oh, Jesus. he lands the AA. Oh, Cena rolling through. Oh, my God. He's not done with him, Brad. A second AA as Cena goes for the cover. And John oh, Cena. God. John Cena. Ruins the freaking fantasy day of Dolph Ziggler. Man, oh man, guys, I freaking love that match. Every time I f like I watch this matchup, I get just lost in the moment. Like I get lost in the moment. I literally, I made the match. I freaking filmed it. I edited it. I recorded it. I planned it. I freaking scripted it. And every time I watch it, I genuinely believe that Dolph Ziggler is gonna win this freaking MDT championship. He doesn't get it done versus John Cena. John Cena goes on to retain. You know, leading to that dominant run that he had there for a minute, and ultimately, uh, of course, losing it at the Royal Rumble. What is next for John Cena? But what is next for Dolph Ziggler? I mean, the man had an opportunity many times. He was at the top of the ladder at the Money in the Bank. He slipped out of his grasp. He was right there with John Cena. He lost the MDT Championship right there in his grasp. And then uh, he just recently lost the Velveteen Dream for the Chamber. And he also got eliminated late in the Royal Rumble. I mean, this man has been just close and close many times. And he ultimately loses. And uh, it's just it's just sad to see. But, you know, I love that matchup. And we are moving on to the second best matchup, of my, of, of, in my opinion, uh, of all time in MDT, guys, and it has to be, you guys love this match, it's probably one of my favorite matches I've ever filmed, absolutely, and it is the MDT Extreme Championship match at the Royal Rumble, the Fatal 4-Way between John Morrison, Kevin Owens, Bobby Trashley, and No Way Jose, just a fun matchup from start to finish, just all kinds of crazy stuff going on in this match, if you haven't seen this match yet, guys, you are in for an absolute treat, this matchup is easily one of my favorites, I had a ton of fun, a ton of creativity in this one, it was just super duper fun, I could watch this matchup over and over. So this is definitely my number two, guys. Check it out. Here we go. Extreme Championship, Fatal 4-Way Deathmatch for the MDT Extreme Championship. Deathmatch. I cannot wait to see how this thing goes. 
And we're going, Brad. The, the bell has rang, and we are off. On Jose, Jose from behind. And he cracks him over the skull with that deadly radio. My God, he's been doing that for weeks on end. And Kevin Owens, up to, oh, the Bobby Lashley from behind. That's, that's something that you're going to have to take notice of, Brad. In this matchup, men are going to be attacking from behind, left and right. There's four men, and there's tons of weaponry scattered around the arena. There's no way Jose slips out here. Oh, big drop kick straight into the ladder. Since Lashley's crashing to the mat. It looks like Kevin Owens already fishing around here. We got our first taste of setting things up, and he's, he's going for a one of those. A big pane of glass. A big pane of glass. Oh, my Ooh. God. John Morrison striking Kevin Owens in the face, and he, it looks like he's going to try and suplex him oh through that God. glass pane. Kevin Owens, though, is too big for Morrison. Here's he flips him over, yes. and he comes crashing down through the glass pane on the outside. The strength of Kevin Owens, too much for John Morrison. Oh, no, no way, Jose! Through, oh the God. through the glass pane in the corner. I know that Bobby Lashley and John Morrison's back are absolutely torn apart. Oh, my God! A shot to the face by Kevin Owens. The madness begins in this death match Look already. Look Morrison's back. Look out! God almighty! The, it's just a car crash continuously going about here as John Morrison takes a chair to the face now. Kevin Owens trying to attack Lashley as he drops the chair and no way Jose getting the hell out of there. And there's three men busted open already in this matchup, Brad. We're literally just getting started. Little giant shards of glass. In the back of Lashley, in the face of Jose. I mean, the everyone is donning the crimson mask early in this matchup. Bobby Lashley lifting Kevin Owens to the top rope here. Oh, but Kevin Owens fighting back with a nice headbutt. Off the champion to Bobby Trashley. And no way Jose out in front of us. Brad, we better be careful. That glass pane explodes. We may get I'm going to fight somebody if I get hit with a piece of iron. We're going to have to see about that, Brad. As Kevin Owens is climbing up to the top. But he doesn't see John Morrison coming across. Oh, my, oh my God, he's coming down. Oh, my God. There is glass everywhere, Brad. I got to dust myself off here. My brand new suit jacket for the Royal Rumble. All nice getting cut up with this glass. I mean, my God, what a fall. I'm going to whip somebody's ass. Kevin Owens is absolutely destroyed. The champion is incapacitated. And here comes Bobby Trashley as he throws John Morrison's face square into the turnbuckle as John Morrison falls way down. That bloody back bouncing off that ladder. Absolutely is. Oh, my God, a strike to the face from No Way Jose as he hits a Samoan drop. We can have a new champion right now. And Bobby Lashley stays alive. And No Way Jose not going to become champion off of that. Just all these men beating the absolute hell out of each other at the MDT Royal Rumble. What a way to open the show. It's John, uh -oh. Morrison, John Morrison from behind with that trash can. And no Way Jose getting the hell out of there. Brad, he doesn't want anything to do with it. And Trashley from behind now on Morrison. This matchup is ridiculous, Brad. Absolutely. Oh, and he, Bobby Trashley throwing Morrison beyond the brick wall Over there. Over the wall! And I, I literally have zero clue where John Morrison is now. But for that matter, Jose and Bobby Lashley are going to lock up now on the middle of the stage here as they are going battle on the top. And what the hell is John Morrison doing? There oh he is, God. Brad. He's on top of the taxi. He's on top of the taxi on the stage. Oh, he's no coming way. down. A moonsault off the top. Taking, Jesus. taking out Jose and Trashley. Ridiculous. The amazing athleticism of John. How do you get up there? I, I, he, he did the disappearing act. And he appeared on the table. Oh, my God. A brick. A brick to the skull of Morrison. Kevin Owens is going to retain. He's got to be out. Oh, and Trashley. Oh. Trashley breaks up the pinfall. And, oh, he's got more plays for Kevin Owens. Oh. And he dumps him over the buggy. Kevin going shopping. Kevin going shopping indeed. And Bobby Trashley keeping an eye out as No Way Jose's going to retreat backstage. And it looks like Bobby Trashley's giving chase. WCW backstage brawl. Backstage assault, you mean, Brad. 
as Bobby Lashley does not know where Noah Jose is. The way we're all looking for him here is, oh my goodness. Oh God, look at that face. Up to the savage ways of Jose. Here's a text Bobby Lashley from behind. Oh my goodness, and Morrison out of nowhere over that chair. Oh, and he's got his focus on Lashley now. Oh my goodness, a shot to the skull. Sickening. A sickening blow indeed, Brad. Trashley taking it right on the face. And KO from behind now, recovering. Arm cut open now. His arms are profusely bleeding after crashing through that glass pane, Brad. And now Kevin Owens has some more ideas. He's got a ladder bridge. He's set up a ladder bridge and he's got his sights set on John Morrison here as he's loading him up. He may be thinking pop-up powerbomb here. Oh, he's loading Morrison up. Oh, and he comes down hard on the back. You know, his back's already cut open, Brad. I mean, this man is bleeding. There's going to be blood all over this arena here tonight. If we keep going like this, all these men have beaten the hell out of each other. Oh, and what is Kevin Owens thinking now? As it looks like he may be taking a climb, Brad. Oh my God! He's Careful now! He's on top of that scaffolding. That is not stable. That is not stable. I think he may be coming down on John Morrison with a five-star oh frog slam KO. And he crashes through. Through the ladder. The big man coming down on Morrison. Here's the cover for, to retain. And Jose oh. breaks up the fall. No way. No way, Jose. He says no way, Brad, as he breaks it up. And oh my God, he's loading him up. Kevin Owens slipping out here. Oh, and he takes a shot to the skull. Kevin Owens could be busted open now. It's, Jose's going to retreat again. Oh my goodness, Brad, what are, what are we witnessing here in the opening matchup of this Royal Rumble pay-per-view? It's a car crash. That's literally what it is. It is absolutely a car crash as Morrison and Kevin Owens are laid to waste here in the backstage area as Bobby Lashley and No Way Jose retreating to the parking lot. And oh my lord, what is Jose out. doing? He's on top of the he's on top of that dump truck. And Lashley not seeing Jose. They finally spotted him. Oh, he's coming down! Oh, the, the strength of Lashley. Oh, and he bounces his spinal cord off that truck. Oh, and he throws it through the windshield of the Camaro in the parking lot. Oh, Jose completely di discombobulated as he goes through the windshield of the Camaro now. And Morrison has... Wait, wait, where the hell Morrison come from? He comes out of nowhere. Brady's on top of the dump truck. And Lashley trying to figure out exactly what he's going to do. But oh, there's Kevin Owens. Kevin Owens bringing Morrison down here. Oh, and I think he's got plans for Morrison's face as he's just bouncing it off of that metal of the dump truck in the back. My God. And now Trashley's going to join into the dump truck. And Kevin Owens fighting with one-on-one -on -one with Trashley. It would suit better if it was a trash, a trash truck for Bobby Trashley. Oh, and he's assaulting Bobby Lashley in the face here. Oh, my God. What is, what is Kevin Owens thinking? He's gonna, oh, my God. He's loading him up with a power bomb. It's, what is he doing? He's going to oh. throw him off. Oh, oh my, my God. God. Bobby Lashley falls at least 12 feet. That's right. got to that's gotta be 10 or 12 feet high, Brad. What in the hell? Kevin Owens just taking everyone out of this man. What is he planning now with John Morrison? No way. Oh my oh God! Oh my God! Kevin Owens with the package pile driver. That's it. It's all, it's, everyone's dead. Under the hood of the car. He's going for the cover here. And it's over. Mercifully, the matchup is over as Kevin Owens retains his MDT Extreme Championship. So that one definitely is a top favorite, man. I just had so much fun with that matchup, dude. Just so incredible. Now, now that Kevin Owens has the Extreme Championship, I mean, it is just, it's been super fun. That was his first matchup as champion on MDT Live because, of course, he came over from Vindication from the AJ Styles trade, and he pinned John Morrison in the backstage area to claim the championship, and that was his first defense right there, and he was beat up last time on MDT Live. Let's see if he's going to be that lucky to get away on episode 14 of MDT Live, but 
man, what a freaking matchup. Before we get into the number one spot, guys, I do want to give an honorable mention. This honorable mention is going to go to the MDT Royal Rumble. Yes, the uh, the Royal Rumble match was definitely one of my favorites ever, man. Just super fun, super freaking epic. I love the pacing of it. I love all the big spots. I mean, like we had tons of surprises, tons of debuts. It was just a fun effing match, man. One of my favorites ever. Hands down, I had to include it here and just plug it in and, and do a quick plug for it because I loved it. I freaking loved it. I love filming it. I love watching it over and over. I've watched it a few times now, obviously, editing it, uh, filming it, and then, of course, I've watched it back a few times, and it's just super fun, man. If you haven't seen it, definitely go check that one out. I had to honorable mention it there, but getting into the number one spot, guys. We're going to cover the number one spot here, and the number one spot, you guessed it. Everybody knows what it is. It is going to be Dean Ambrose taking on Seth freaking Rollins. One half of the World Tag Team Championships on the line. No disqualifications at sold out. The Shield comes to an implosion right here as one member will be banned from the Shield forever and one member will retain or uh, re uh, capture the World Tag Team Championship here between Seth and Dean. What an epic match. My all-time favorite. Super fun to film. Super fun uh, storyline wise. Just great effing, effing stuff here. I loved it and uh, I had to include it here at the number one spot and it was just just magic guys let's go ahead and give it a watch as oh my god oh, here we go dean ambrose he scoops up seth he oh. scoops up seth and we're underway in this matchup we're ready to go as dean ambrose is teeing off on Rollins. he's literally teeing off on rollins shot after shot immediately brad not even giving him an opportunity to take his gear off Seth still has the title strapped around his waist as dean ambrose goes to the outside and immediately grabs a kendo stick my goodness he he wasted no time here as he lays shots into Seth. Ooh. A shot to the shoulder. Another shot Jesus. to the back. My goodness. Probably should have kept that vest on. He's going right at Seth. Another shot to the back. You know it's got a sting, Brad. Ooh. Another shot from Dean Ambrose as he goes for the quick cover. And Seth powers out. Going to take a lot more than a kendo stick, apparently, to put down Rollins here tonight. As Dean's not through with Seth, Brad. He's going right at him again. 100 miles an hour. Throwing Seth out of the ring. Dean coming right at him. Oh, and a nice Ooh. mid. Oh, he kicks him in the chest there. Seth Rollins trying to battle back here against Dean Ambrose as he punches him in the face. Whoa, look out now. Oh, he launches him onto the announce table. And Seth Rollins is going to use this time to find his own weaponry as he goes underneath the ring. Oh, he finds a chair now. It seems Seth Rollins and Dean Ambrose are both out for blood here tonight. As Absolutely. Seth, Seth going for the chair shot. Oh, oh. Dean with a midsection kick. And a nice chest slap from De uh, Dean Ambrose makes Seth drop it. Now, oh, my God. Is he looking for the suplex? Now onto the announce table. Watch out, guys. Oh, my God. He did it Sunil Singh style as he flips Rollins onto the Spanish announce table. Our Spanish announce team already getting the thick of it here as both men have already collapsed on top of their table. And speaking of tables, Dean Ambrose grabs his own as he slides it in the middle of the ring. I guess getting making some future investments now as Dean Ambrose sets up his own table in the middle of the ring while Seth Rollins lay waste on the Spanish announce table. And what could be going through the mind of the lunatic here? Violence. Dean goes back to the outside. Seth Rollins with a kick to the face. Oh, he's oh he Watch jumps out. off the Spanish announce table. Blockbuster! Jesus! A blockbuster off the Spanish announce table. Both men's backs laying down on the outside of the ring. As Seth Rollins gets back to his feet now, Getting Dean back up, throws him back into the apron. And a super kick oh. square to the jaw. I think Dean Ambrose may be unconscious, Brad, as he rolls him back inside the ring. He may the be looking for the team. cover. And Dean Ambrose powers out at two. And Seth Rollins going to have to get creative here in this matchup. And it looks like he's going to be taking the long way around here as he exits the ring and he's going all the way around it looks like he's going to Dean's shopping cart digging around oh he's got the sledgehammer Seth Rollins has a sledgehammer Good in hand Lord. oh but Dean Ambrose is right behind him oh and a shot to the skull my god he's got to be concussed and Seth Rollins now dazed on his knees and Dean Ambrose oh my god oh, not another one do not do this Dean don't hit him again Dean Ambrose again oh, oh my god God, a violent chair shot. Jesus. A violent chair shot from the lunatic Dean Ambrose to the skull of Seth Rollins. And Seth Rollins is a bloody mess. He's, he's busted open here in this matchup early on. 
And Dean Ambrose rolling the, the corpse of Seth Rollins back inside the ring, looking for the cover. We can have a win. And he oh kicks out. God. I don't know how Seth Rollins is conscious. He has to have a concussion. Why would you want to be conscious? He slammed that chair so hard into his skull. And he's continuing to fight. Still laying into Seth. A punch to the face. Oh, just adding oh. insult as he bounces his skull off that table. Dean Ambrose just taking it straight to Seth here. Oh, he's, oh, he's tying him up in the ropes. A chest slap there. Seth Rollins is literally helpless God. as he continues to assault Seth inside the ring. Multiple chest slaps here. Multiple punches to the forehead. He's going to get blood all over his hands. As Seth is this literally, is sickening. he's just helpless inside those ropes after that chair shot. Disgusting. Oh, and he's not done, Brad. He's coming back across. Look up at that shotgun drop kick. And Ooh. he connects to Rollins. And Rollins flips square out of the ring. All the way to the outside. And Dean Ambrose now. I mean, Seth Rollins is already just depleted mentally. And oh my goodness. Dean Ambrose is lifting oh up the rubber covering on the outside of the ring. And he is exposing the concrete flooring beneath. And we have never seen this in MDT. I don't want to. He has exposed the concrete. He is looking to kill oh this man. Oh, my God. This is... I can't handle this. He is literally trying to end Seth Rollins. Oh, he's no. looking for Dirty Deeds. No. He's looking for Dirty no. Deeds. But Seth is fighting. Seth is fighting out here. Oh, my God. Oh, he looks for the... Oh, he connected no. with the knee. The ripcord knee. He connects. And I think Dean may be unconscious now. Seth Rollins has some momentum. Oh, he's loading him oh, up. Oh, Lord. Oh, he's loading him up, looking for the barricade buckle bomb. Oh. Right into the shoulder. Oh, I think his shoulder could be dislocated, Brad. A barricade power bomb to Dean Ambrose. And oh, Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins is out oh, for God. revenge. Seth Rollins is out for revenge. Brad, he's got the sledgehammer in hand. He's waiting on his prey. Seth Rollins waiting on Dean Ambrose. Oh, oh. he connects square to the face. Jesus. The sledgehammer connects to the face of Dean Ambrose. Dean Ambrose is a bloody mess now. Both men busted wide open in this matchup. Donning the Crimson mask. Both men, as he rolls Dean back inside, looking for the cover, we can, we can have a retain. And no. he powers out. Train crash continues. The train crash continues indeed as Seth Rollins. I don't know how Dean Ambrose kicked out of that. A sledgehammer to the skull. And Dean Ambrose trying to get back to consciousness as Seth Rollins has his own table now. Setting up his own table. Dean Ambrose set up one earlier in the matchup. And Seth finally has it set up now. Oh, Dean Ambrose with oh a suicide God. dive coming out. He's conscious after that sledgehammer shot as he takes out Seth. And he's wailing on Seth Rollins now. Trying to beat him onto that table. Multiple strikes. And he's not done as he lays God. Multiple elbow shots to the chest, just pounding away at Seth Rollins, trying to make sure he stays put on that table. And oh my God, what is Dean Ambrose thinking? What is this lunatic thinking? He's taking the shirt off, Brad. And I, oh my God, I think he's taking a climb. Oh Lord. Oh, Dean Ambrose. Dean Ambrose is going high. I think he, oh my God, he's he's on the scaffold. Somebody get him down. Oh, he's coming down ah! himself. Oh my God. Jesus. The elbow drop from that high up off the scaffolding. He crash lands through the table. Seth Rollins is destroyed through the table up there. That massive elbow drop from Dean Ambrose. Somebody's going to stop this. Both men are literally killing each other. Dean Ambrose making it back to his feet after that literal drop from hell. As he's picking Seth back up, he puts it back in the ring. This has got to do it. This has got to put him away. He goes for the cover. And he oh, powers out God. again. Why would both of these men continue to fight? Both How? They have no energy left. Both men are depleted. They've lost so much blood. Oh, what is What being? the hell else could be in that buggy? Oh, my God. A two-by-four with nails. The black two by four with nails as Dean Ambrose rolls back in the ring. He is looking to literally murder his brother Seth Rollins. As Seth tries to get back to his feet, Dean Ambrose coming Jesus. in. Oh, he ducks it. He ducks it out of the oh way. My God. A kick to the midsection. A kick to the midsection and Seth, another kick to the Jesus. face. Oh, Seth Rollins battling out. He's trying to fight back. Seth waiting on Dean Ambrose to get back to his feet here. 
looking for his own springboard. Oh, and he connects with the knee. He connects the knee to the face of Dean Ambrose as he flips him back over. Seth Rollins fighting. Oh, he's not done. He's not done. He's fighting. He's still got some heart left. Loading up. He's looking for the frog splash. Oh! He connects it. The frog splash lands, Brad. He's going for the cover. And another God. kick out from Dean Ambrose. Dean Ambrose and Seth Rollins have literally killed each other in this matchup, and they're still fighting. They're still clinging. What do they have to do to pick up this victory? All for the sake of the Shield name, as both men are just paraded in blood. No energy left. They are both depleted. And Seth Rollins... What the hell is he's, he doing? He's got a cinder block now. Oh, the cement block as he... He is placing it no. underneath Dean Ambrose's head, Brad. He's going for the curb stomp to the skull. A literal curb stomp. Going for the curb stomp. Here he comes. Dean moves out of Nothing the way. There. He's got the two by oh four. God. He's got the two by four. Oh, he oh connects my it. God. Oh, Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins. We need EMTs. We need EMTs out here. And Seth Rollins is lifeless. Seth Rollins is lifeless. And he kicks oh my out God, that's again. enough. That's enough. He, he kicks out again. Dean Ambrose so shocked. I am completely blown away. A two by four with nails after he misses the curb stomp on the cinder block. His foot could be broken. He's trying to put it to the table. Seth Rollins oh, flipped over. He flipped over it. Oh, a kick to the face oh. from Seth. Seth Rollins battling now. Sends Dean into the corner. Seth Rollins getting on to Dean now. Oh, he's loading him up. Seth Rollins loading up Dean Ambrose into the corner. Oh, looking for the superplex. And he, he lands it. it. Oh, he's not done. Looking for the Falcon oh. Arrow through the table. My God. The Falcon Arrow through the table. Pit him, Seth. Pit him. He's going for the cover. In this. Oh, oh, my God. Dean Ambrose. Resilience. In both of these men, Seth Rollins can't believe it. He's arguing with the official. I think everyone in this arena is completely stunned at both of these men. Both of these men have fought and fought. Oh my God, Jesus! They're, your face is still on there. They are. Li he's about to murder Dean Ambrose. He's gonna murder Dean Ambrose. This is it, Brad. Oh my God! It's Roman oh, Reigns. Oh my God! A spear. He speared Seth Rollins. Roman Reigns. He spears Seth Rollins. He's remained quiet this whole time. He's remained quiet this whole time. He's he's helping what Dean Ambrose. He he's dragging Dean over Seth. The referees go for the cover. What the hell is that? And it's over. Dean Ambrose has defeated Seth Rollins with the help of his brother, Roman Reigns. Shield. Dean Ambrose remains a part of the shield and Seth Rollins is vanquished as Dean Ambrose is a new world tag team champion celebrating oh my, oh my god! god a spear from Roman Reigns it was all a ploy what the hell a spear it's the Usos no. the Usos and Roman Reigns have they aligned Roman Reigns over the corpse of his brother Dean Ambrose Oh my God! Seth Rollins and Dean Ambrose were played for fools as Roman Reigns and the Usos, the Bloodline, red bandanas for every member as he reveals himself my God. as the leader of the Usos and the Bloodline and the Usos get an automatic tag team championship match because Dean Ambrose won the matchup. It was a plan all along. And guys, that is it for my top five MDT matches of all time. It had to go to Dean Ambrose versus Seth Rollins. I freaking love that match. I could watch it a hundred times. I just love all the weapons. I, I'm a sucker for weapons matches, as you saw with the top two. 
Um, just super awesome story being told there between the shield and the bloodline and the just everything that happened right there. Totally shocking. Probably one of the most shocking moments in MDT history is Roman Reigns turning on Dean Ambrose and Seth Rollins in the same night to align with the bloodline and the Usos and then uh, just deploy and destroy the shield all at once there. And just, just epic stuff there between Roman Reigns. And that is going to do it for my countdown. I personally, guys... This is my personal top five. You may have a different top five. You may think that these matches suck. I don't know what your opinion is, but you can comment down below. I would love to know what your favorite match is and why. I want to know why it's your favorite match. Please comment down below with your favorite match of all time and why it is your favorite match of all time in MDT. You know, there's some other matches that could have been on here. There's some honorable mentions that I would like to mention, but... I'm going to leave that up to you guys, you know, some matches that you guys enjoyed in the in the show's past, and uh, we look forward to making many more of these, you know, uh, with the highlights going down on the weekly television shows now and MDT Live and Vindication, it's probably going to be a little bit more difficult as far as, you know, getting those full matches uh, or getting those highlights matches onto countdowns like this. However, it's going to lead to the pay-per-views being better, and it's going to be it's going to be epic, man. I cannot wait for Hell's Gate. That is our next pay-per-view, and we have two Elimination Chamber matches on that card. We also have some tag team title bouts. We got some singles championships. Going to be a loaded card. Going to be a very fun matchup to, or a fun show to watch and I cannot wait for it. But um, again, comment down below guys uh, what your favorite MDT matches of all time and I would love to you know comment back with you and talk with you in the comment section below. So definitely check that out. But that is going to do it for today's video. I know it went over an hour here but you know what? Uh, that is what it is. You just got to do what you got to do. But thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you stayed all the way to the end, then you're a crazy person, but I appreciate you more than you know. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.